All right. So let's have a little conversation. Last night I was talking to my friend, and um, she one of the things she said, she usually tells a gentleman everything that she looks for in a gentleman. And um, I think that's the wrong thing to do. That person should naturally already have it. You should never, it's like telling a person to answer to a test. Do you really think they pass that test on their own? It's like telling a person you want roses. Do they really mean anything once they go buy them right afterwards, okay? So you should, while you hunting, and what I mean by hunting, while you in your woman outfit, looking for your woo and your fee, um, going through all the different men you have to, the men going through all the different women, you're hunting, you're looking for yourself. You're looking for things to make you happy. You have to have a list, an ideal of what, what do you really want? What can that gentleman do for you? And have it real. Make it something that a, a, a man and a male goes through to create his gentleman for you. And his, his gentleman is going to have to be diversified. For every woman, it's going to want something a little bit different. And it's going to be meaningful for that individual person. But what is yours? And it, it has to be real. And it has to be something that's attainable and something that that gentleman, that male, that man, that boy learned through his upbringing. Um, and, and we're naturally born with, I'm a foster child. I didn't have a natural mom and dad home, you know, and it's not like they spent the time to teach me the, some of the value things that most people learn. It's naturally in you. Um, and you have to naturally see it without telling a person. Um, and if they naturally have it, then you're going to be happy. Your woo and your fee will be fulfilled in the lady when you become that lady. And he will be your gentleman. But if you go tell a person, it's generic. And once you tell a person something you like, they use it when they're mad at you. Or, and it becomes something you don't, you start re, re, resist, resist, resenting. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to deal with it, you know, because you know they're going to hold it over your head. You know they're not going to do it. And they know they need, should do it. So don't tell a person. Keep that within yourself. And that person should figure it out. And, and really, it's up to you to figure out if that's the correct person. That can actually fulfill your woo and your fee. Is he going to be your gentleman? No different than a man in a mill. When he becomes a gentleman, he needs to make sure that lady can take care of everything. Okay? For him to be that lady. That's, that's the commitment part. The gentleman and the lady is the commitment part. And that person needs to be your butterfly. You need to be their butterfly. Okay? And the man in your cocoon, your woman and your man, that's where you honey. You're figuring it out. You're dating. You're learning each other. You met each other as a male and a female. No other woman wants another man's woman's man. No other man wants another woman's man, woman. So you create yourself again when you meet each other as a male and a female. He creates the ideal starter man for you. You create the ideal starter woman. Through that dating, you create and build, build. And once you fulfill all them things that's important to you, then that person becomes your gentleman and you become his lady. And that's the commitment part. You never commit to a cocoon. You never commit in a date. That's the problem. We're committing too soon. We're, commit, we're committing in our, our dating. You, you don't even know what the, that, that butterfly is going to look like. It's still inside this cocoon. The thing can come out looking like, whoa. First, figure it out. Make sure. Make sure that's something you want to commit to. Make sure that's something you want. Okay? First, take some time. You could be dating multiples. But when that time comes, you make that decision, make sure that decision, everything's going to be what you need to be. That's for the woman. Don't, don't date them for six years, six months. You need to know, is this person the right candidate so you can pick that time in? Anyway, just a little conversation. I hope it makes a little bit more sense. And please, you know, underneath, ask some questions to email me. I'm trying to figure the best way to deliver my message. Have a blessed one.